Okay guys, we're going to do a short demonstration here on uh, how to use the new Global Dynamic Scene Removal tool. Um, whenever the coil tubing is cut, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's always this uh, ridge seam that's left, cold cut seam that's on the inside of the coil. And then here's your seam we're going to be removing. So I'm just going to die grind this to give us a smooth bore for entry of the O-ring. It's very critical prior to putting the seam removal tool that the seam is flush here. That seam is all gone prior to installing the, the cutting tool. Okay, well that's all smooth. We take the seam removal tool, the insert here with the Hole cut the seam cut through it. it needs to position itself over top of the seam width so the securement screws just need to be Make sure that the, the seam is inside. And then the securement screws need to be tightened in a way that positions the, the entire tool spaced even. And they need to be snugged in, not excessively tight. Sprayed in, standard supplied half inch drill bit. And simply back off the uh, securement screws. Move your device. And what's left inside is a very clean, hard to tell in the picture, o ring sealing surface. Oh, and you take a little bit of clean up here around where the seam was. And you've got yourself a <coughs> sealable surface. Now the, <coughs> the kit supplied from GDI comes with a flapper wheel as well. That if uh, you wanted to shine up the entire rest of the bore, match it all up. Flapper wheel could be run on the same die grinder and cleaned up and stuff inside of there. We'll uh, see if the camera is able to pick up and show. Any better? Can you get straight in the end there? There you go.